Well, in 2013, we had a sweep. We won for student engagement, social accountability, and assessment. And can we talk a little bit about those three areas at your institution and why you won? Well, why don't, I why don't we alternate? Sure. So uh, we won for assessment. Um, and SIU, for a very long time, has been known for assessment. Howard Barrows came from there and had my position there for a number of years. Reed Williams came from there. Standardized patients were started from there. Uh, depending on who you talk to, problem-based learning came from there. And all of these things then were a natural assessment process that we were doing. So when this award came up, it just seemed a natural fit for us. So which part do you want to take? Uh, student engagement. Okay. Um, we have uh, a small class of 72 students, and the students are involved in pretty much every aspect of our curriculum, from design to administration and uh, assessment as well. Um, so one example, a recent example of engagement is the students, we self-organize the students into a medical education special interest group. And through that group, they have been involved in designing a coachability curriculum for our students to prepare them to be coached in their clinical learning. Um, but we also have student representatives on all of our curriculum committees. And um, well, it's interesting because the theme that I hear from the award winners for student engagement is, is so clear. It's the students are an important part of the university. Mm -hmm. And it sounds to me like at SIU, you really take that seriously. We do, we do. The students are providing feedback constantly about every aspect of the curriculum and then we use that to make changes. And social accountability? So social accountability <clears throat> is literally uh, written into our mission statement. So the mission of SIU is to treat and improve the health of the people of Central and Southern Illinois through education, patient care, research, and community service. So we're a rural school, we're in downstate Illinois, we're the only medical school in the lower half of the state, and really we take our mission very seriously. The students take it seriously, the faculty take it seriously from all manner of community outreach and activities to really bringing the community into the school to help us decide how to help them rather than we sit in our ivory tower and decide what they need. I'm hearing that there's less and less ivory towers or at least amongst the Aspire award winners and, and it, I think we're all happy to hear that. Uh, where in the curriculum does the social accountability start? The, the, where are they introduced to it? I would say they're actually introduced to it from the, on day one when they hear the mission statement and they are, you know, it's really brought home to them during the whole orientation that this is an important part of our school. Um, they have all manner of areas where they can volunteer and that there are faculty there to volunteer. They outreach into HIV clinics and methadone clinics and homeless shelters and over half of the class at any given time in every given year is involved in some kind of community activity. Anna, it sounds like there's sort of a, a theme that weaves through all three of these uh, topics for the students and for the faculty. There is. And the how tightly integrated all these elements of excellence are in our programs and really from the beginning until the end is... And Deborah, did some of the students bring this up during the interview process? Are they aware of it before they come in? Oh, they're very aware of it. <clears throat> we were talking earlier about digital technology. Well, we're represented on the web, so of course the students have come um, they know what our mission is. They write their statements about wanting to be in a underserved area and serve the underserved. Um, and we only accept or we only interview and or accept students from Illinois with preference given to central and southern Illinois residents. So they know that coming in. I, I, I like that. It's it sort of it, for the community, by the community. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna, what would you say to other institutions to encourage them to apply 
for an Aspire Award? Oh, well, I, I would say the most exciting thing about these awards is how they promote excellence. So it's a great way to showcase schools who, who document their excellence, but it's also a fantastic way for the students to develop, or for the schools to develop their excellence. The criteria are spot on for ensuring that curriculum has an impact not just for the students, but for the entire community. So that would be, I think, the number one reason to seek these awards. And as you filled out the applications, uh, I, I'm sure there was some self-reflection and organizational reflection and perhaps conversations amongst people. Uh, was that a, a rewarding experience? Yeah, I think the process more than anything else is, I'm not going to say it's even more rewarding than the award, <laughs> but it, it's a very helpful process because you get to really do uh, quality improvement work on your own school. As Anna said, the criteria are very clearly laid out and before even deciding to apply, we had looked at the criteria and kind of looked at ourselves and had conversations about do we really meet these criteria and if not, where can we improve? And I agree with Anna. I think the most important things about the Aspire Award is the ability for schools to reach that level of excellence which is the most important thing. And then once there, they can apply for the award. Right, so it's sort of a, that pathway to excellence. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, once you got to excellent in 2013, where'd you go? There's been three years. <laughs> well, what's neat about the awards is that they really do open the door. So you, you've developed this excellence, you've been recognized for it, and then the confidence that you acquire from being recognized really then gives you the motivation to push the envelope further. So um, in, in the student engagement example, um, the, the development of this special interest group arose from that confidence. And so I think we're just looking for ways to continue to earn excellence even after having been recognized for it. Well, I'm impressed by the sweep that you did in 2013 <laughs> and what you've done since. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you. Thank you.